NFL free agency started this week, and with the draft being only a month away, the Arizona Cardinals have plenty of flexibility and a front office that is not afraid of wheeling and dealing. For more on what their plan could entail, we go to our Cronkite News reporters TJ Hayes and Cameron Palmer in Phoenix. The Arizona Cardinals finished last season with a 4-13 and record, but this upcoming season has the potential to be a complete 180. We were able to talk with Arizona sports reporter Tyler Drake about his thoughts on the Cardinals' room for growth this offseason, and this is what he had to say. I don't want to sound too crazy, but there's no part of me that doesn't think they can't double the wins. I say we both agree with Drake's statement. The Cardinals have massive potential this offseason, both in free agency and the draft. Yeah, Cardinals fans, you should be licking your chops. Looking at earlier this week when the legal tampering period opened for free agency, the Cardinals made a lot of moves to adjust some of their key needs with the plethora of cap space that they had. Veteran additions like cornerback Sean Murphy Bunting, defensive tackle Bilal Nichols, defensive tackle Justin Jones, and linebacker Mac Wilson will all be nice additions and added depth for Jonathan Gannon's defense. The Cardinals should look to keep adding to the trenches before the draft in the second and third tiers of free agency. Adding interior offensive line depth and any other playmakers on defense will be important. Looking at their draft capital, the Cardinals have 11 total selections, and six of those picks are in the top 90. That's the most in the NFL. Most media outlets believe Marvin Harrison Jr. will go to the Cardinals with their first pick at number four. But Darren Urban could see the team going in another direction. I know a lot of people are talking about Marvin Harrison at four. I don't think that's necessarily a lock. I don't think them staying at four is a lock. Seeing as it stands now, without predicting a trade, we believe Marvin Harrison Jr. will become a Cardinal. Yeah, and with the other two picks they have in the top 50, 27 and 35, we believe the Cardinals should target another bookend offensive tackle to pair with Paris Johnson Jr. and another defensive stud for Jonathan Gannon's defense. Given all of the moving parts, both in free agency and the draft, there is no doubt who will lead this team moving forward. This team is, this coaching staff, this front office, they're all in on Kyler Murray. They... With Kyler Murray at the helm, the additions already made, and the massive draft capital at their disposal, things seem to be shaping up pretty nicely for the Cardinals, and finishing this offseason strong could catapult them back to competing for a playoff spot next season. In Phoenix, for Cameron Palmer, I'm TJ Hayes, Cronkite News.